We turn now to a very special guest, Jason Crabb. He's won two Grammy Awards as a Christian music recording artist, and his new single, Just As I Am, is racing up the music charts, and Jason is joining me now to tell us about it. Welcome to the show from the Huckabee Theater, where I can't get to, Jason Crabb. Jason, great to have you here. It's good to be in your theater, your home away from home, but uh, you're stone in. Well, I am, but, uh, you know, we're so grateful you could be with us. But before we talk about the new song, I, I want to just ask you about Carmen, because uh, you and Carmen had a very uh, special relationship. Tell us about it. Well, I would have never dreamed, um, you know, that I would have ever got to be friends with him because he impacted my life so much. Uh, when I was a young man, I used to buy his videos, watch what he did. He was... I mean, he was a trendsetter. He would do, you know, these uh, videos to his music and his lyrics were just different than your normal songs. I mean, uh, every youth group went out to go see him. And so, you know, I was a huge fan. And then I remember um, being at TBN, uh, meeting um, Carmen for the very first time. We became friends. We talked, did music, some music together, did some uh, shows together. We did just, what a great, great man. And uh, for sure, uh, we're going to miss him. My goodness, we're going to miss mm -hmm. him. Well, I want to talk about something that's brand new, the song, Just As I Am. Very timely, about being loved by God like we are. Yeah, Jason, it yeah. seems like a lot of people have a hard time believing God loves them like they are. They feel like they got to do something to get more presentable before God will love them. Tell us about this song and how it impacts people. Well, that's one of the things that I love about this song. That is one of the lyrics is, you know, if I cannot earn your love by trying to measure up, why do I think I'd lose your love in the lows? And I love that lyric because it's a message that every Christian, every minister wants to get across to the world. You don't have to have it all together. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's got it all together except Jesus. And uh, if we could get it together or, or, you know, get ourselves, I've heard people say this, Governor, I've heard them say, well, when I get my life healed up or when I get fixed or when I get in a better place, then I'm going to go to the, you know, then I'll go to church, you know, I don't want to. And I'm like, if you could do that, we wouldn't need Jesus. But we need Jesus. <laughs> Well, we truly do. You know, your career has been both with the Crab family, then as a solo artist. Maybe the biggest thing that I've thought of w with you is that you sang at Billy Graham's Final Crusade. What an incredible experience. What impact did that have uh, just on you spiritually and personally? I would never forget that day. I tell people about it all the time. Sister Carol Simbla and Pastor Jim up there at the Brooklyn Tabernacle. I loved them so very much. Sister Carol called me and she said, hey, I know you're out on the road, but we have this opportunity to sing a song, you know, the song that you've recorded uh, with us, you know, called I'm Amazed at this event. And would love for you to just think about coming up. And I said, well, sure. And I said, well, what is the event? And they said, it's the last Billy Graham crusade in New York. And I said, I don't even have to think about that. I said, I don't care what it is. I'll be there. And when he walked up on stage, his white hair blowing in the wind, and he preached mm -hmm. the sermon, he said, we will know the signs of the times as compared to the days of Noah. I'll never forget that message that he preached. It was absolutely stunning message. 140,000 people there gathered in, Brook or in New York. And um, I'll, I'll never forget that moment. Uh, Jason, NASCAR fans can also watch your face race by. Uh, Jason and his record label, you sponsor number 23, Natalie Decker's car. Now, that's pretty cool. Are you a big NASCAR fan? <laughs> oh, I love NASCAR. Uh, big fan now. I'm a real big fan. I'm a fan of Natalie Decker for sure. 20, I think she's 24 years old. Sweet little gal, she's no bigger than a whisper. And she here she is gonna be driving this NASCAR 200 mile an hour around a round track. And so uh, Red Street Records, uh, Jay DeMarcus, 
uh, Mark and Don, all those guys over there, uh, they said, we want to, um, so, you know, we want you to come up for the unveiling of the car. I had no clue yeah. that they were going to put us on it. And uh, when they pulled the, you know, the little sheet off of that car, that was my <laughs> face on the hood. I said, I guess I better hang on. That's going to be fun right there. So I'm very excited, uh, you know, for this. Well, we're excited for you. We'll be watching for Natalie Decker's uh, victory lap. Yeah, I like that. What a joy to have you here. I, I just want to thank you for uh, being a part of our show. I know we've had to do it remotely, which is not exactly the way we normally uh, like to do everything. But, you know, sometimes you have to just deal with the hand you got. In this case, we deal with the snow yeah. that we've got. <laughs> well, I want our viewers to get a lot more of your music, especially this new tune. So we're going to let Keith Bilbrey tell the folks at home how they can do that. To get Jason Cramps Just As I Am, you can find it everywhere music is sold or streamed. For his concert schedule and more about his music projects, go to his website, jasoncrabb.com.